The main difference between shock theory and chess board is their ingredients. Shock theory basically refers to various new products, while the chess board refers to a selection of cheeses served together. However, it's important to note that the words shock theory board and cheese board are interchangeable in modern cuisine. Both charcuterie and cheese board refer to an assortment of finger food arranged on a slate or tray. Meat products and cheese take the most prominent place among these both. But charcuterie and cheese board also contain food items like crackers, teeths, fruits, and nuts. The difference between charcuterie and cheese boards are very simple. Charcuterie refers to the culinary art of preparing various meat products like sauces, bacon, salami, ham, chalice, valentines, paste, valentines, and confit. While cheese board typically refers to a collection of cheese served as a course of meal. In modern cuisine, charcuterie boards and cheese boards are the same. In addition to meat and cheese, they also contain an assortment of artisan Bread, crackers, cakes, fruits, and nuts. So, if you ask me what are the differences between charcuterie and cheese boards, well, that's all fine and dandy, but does that mean you shouldn't even bother with attempting a cheese board? You would prefer a cheese board, but if your guest will not enjoy it and wish there was a charcuterie board instead, it's not worth the money and the effort. There is typically an even, even amount of cheese, bread, and meat as you traditionally are expected to use a piece of cheese and meat on one piece of bread. Any jams, fruit, vegetables, or extra such as nuts are sprinkled around for added appearance on the board or to eat on the side. These complementary foods are chosen based on the compatibility with the meats you have, such as cheeses, crackers, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. On a cheese board, however, the cheeses is the real show. There will be many different types of cheeses, often the fanciest kinds, with some other ingredients on the side you can use to enjoy the cheese. Most people don't want to eat straight cheese all day and night, even if you might, so there is an assortment of beautifully arranged cheese accompanied by some crackers, meats, and fruits such as grapes to add to your experience. Cheese boards often have sweeter foods because those pair best with cheese such as those fruits, jams, and nuts or finely salted foods such as meats and crackers. The cheese is the real show on a cheese board and other ingredients only enhance its display. While on a chocolate board, even though the meats are what inspire the rest of the ingredients, they all work equally to display the overall picture. Chocolate equals meat board, cheese board equals well, cheese board. What is a chocolate? Chocolate refers to the culinary art of preparing various meat products like sauces, bacon, salami, ham, rice, and feed valentines. It's a combination of cured meat and meat products. When tracing the history of chocolate, it can be observed that this culinary art developed from necessity. This was a way of preserving meat just like pickles, kombucha, broth, and other preservation methods. In the recent past, chocolate boards have regained their popularity. Modern restaurants often present chocolate as an appetizer on a board alongside artisan cheese and nuts. What is a cheese board? Well, cheese board typically refers to a selection of cheese served as a course of meal. It's important to note that the words chocolate boards and cheese boards are interchangeable in modern cuisine. What can we say in the conclusion? Well, the main difference between chocolate and cheese boards is the ingredients. Chocolate basically refers to various meat products, while the boards refers to a selection of cheeses served together. However, it's important to note that the words chocolate board and cheese board are interchangeable in modern cuisine. That's all for me today's video. Hope you enjoyed it.
If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to bell that notification icon so that I can not find whatever I upload my new videos. Thanks for watching.